Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Welcome to our one before the last class. How is it going? How was your weekend? Did you have a good weekend? Yes. Nice. Well, let's see the topic for today's class. Well, we still have some vocabulary practice. Today is Monday. Monday, July. July. July 11th. 11. 11. 2022. 2022. That's right. That's correct. Well, it's a pleasure for me to be here. Well, right. Yes. And I'm very glad, yes, that you are here so that we can have our almost last class. And this Monday, just one second. I just need to put my picture. All right, here I am. Okay, well, did you finish the platform already? Did you finish? Or is yes, still in finish. progress? Finished everything. Yes, finished. Yes, that's awesome. All right. So at the end of this session, we're gonna be able to practice the vocabulary study throughout the unit four which is basically asking and answering questions, using prepositions of place, prepositions of time as well, right? So before anything else happens, I'm going to have the attendance, All right? Let me get the attendance, attendance, attendance. One minute. Oh no, wait a second. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Well, hopefully everybody gets connected. So let me see, Andrea, Andrea, or just let me just find the last day. The last day. Okay. One minute. It doesn't allow me to go to the last, almost last day. Well, here it is. Monday 11, that's the Monday 11, right? All right. Do we have Andrea? Andrea, are you here? Hi, how are you, Andrea? I'm here. I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you finish the platform? Did you finish the platform? Uh, no. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, okay. voy a revisar. Yes, no problem, but keep working, okay? Okay. Please. Okay, Brenda? Brenda, Brenda. Creo que ahí escribió en el chat. Oh, really? Thank you. Let me check. Thank you for informing me. All right. So I will check later because right here, apparently, I don't have. Okay. In WhatsApp. Did you write on yes. WhatsApp? All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
because I don't have her message yet. Oh, she says, oh, it's raining and she's still going home. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting me know. So Rise of Row, which is going to be, she's going to be late, okay? Great. Briseida, has Briseida gotten home already? Okay, that's sad. Sad, sad, sad. Okay, Cesar. Hey, teacher. Hey, how are you? Aquí. Llegando a mi casa ahorita. Getting no home. En, en la compu. Okay, getting home. Yes. And wet. Yes, I. You got wet. Connecting my cell phone. Oh my God. It's fine. No problem. Douglas? Is Douglas here? No, apparently no. No Douglas. Ernesto Patres. Hello, from teacher. All right. How are you? How are you? How are you? Hello. Hi. How are you? I am fine. Yes, thank you. All right, nice. Esmeralda. Present. This is present. Present. Ah, Douglas, thank you. Present. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Esmeralda, is Esmeralda here? Not right. Esmeralda is not here. Oh my goodness. Estela? Estela, Estela? Not here. Yvonne? Hi, Yvonne. Yvonne. Probably Yvonne is still driving. I see Hi, you. Hi. Evening. Good evening. Are you going home? No, I do not. Driving. I, I, driving, yes. I'm still driving. Okay. Thank you. Frank Cristobal. It's right here. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How was your weekend? Hey, so so. So so. You got better or you are still sick? Eh, aquí cuidando enfermo. It's still sick. Yes. Oh my goodness. Katia Alessandra. Katia Katia. Not yet, it's not home yet. That's terrible, Katia. Mario Ernesto Lopez. Present teacher. Present. How are you? Hi, fine. Nice. To hey. Tell me. <clears throat> tell me, tell me. Who's a teacher? <laughs> yes. Probably the signal is not very good. Me tocó de primero el, el... Really? Tengo malo el inter cuando mencionó mi nombre. Ah, okay, no problem. Ya le puse el asistente, don't worry. Okay? Don't worry. Hola. Ya le puse la asistencia, no se preocupe. Yes. Douglas. Sí, 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 ya le puse su asistencia, le decía. 
Thank you. Yes, don't worry. Okay, let's continue. Then we have Miss Mayra. Mayra Hernandez, not anymore. Podali. Podalis, Odalis. Present. Hi. Good evening. Mr. Ramon Antonio Spoko. Present. Hi. And Jennifer Ivania Aguilar. Jennifer, Jennifer? Do you have Jennifer? No. All right. Ya vi que por ahí ya ingresó. Briseida, right? Present teacher. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Hi, fine. Great. Estela? Estela, Estela. Hi. ¿Y hay alguien más que haya ingresado que no lo hemos mencionado? ¿O oh, no? That's it. That's it. All right. No problem. Okay, so here we go have the class objective again. And of course, we're gonna practice the vocabulary, okay? So this is part of the vocabulary that we have been practicing. Okay, how are you going to do this? We are going to describe and the other person has to guess. Let me just stop sharing, I need to. I need to share the whiteboard. So, let me see. Open and collaborate. So, for example, you're going to say it is a place where you can. Blah, 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 blah. An example can be, uh -huh. it is a place where you can buy medicine. Uh -huh. And then the other person says, it's uh, what is it? It's a place where you can buy medicine. Mm -hmm. Drugstore. It's a drugstore. It's a drugstore. Or you can say a pharmacy. Right? Pharmacy. Uh -huh. So you can say that. It's a drugstore or it's a pharmacy. All right. So what you have to say is like the clue. Tienen que dar como la pista. ¿no? La, la primera frase que está como un poco incompleta es lo que ustedes tienen que decir. It's a place where you can y dicen la la idea it's a place where you can buy es comprar it's a place where you can get obtener it's a place where you can see it's a place where you can have right it's a place where you can practice it's a place where you can watch it's a place where you can 
For example, if I tell you, it's a place where you can have a coffee. It's a place where you can have a cup of coffee. ¿A qué lugar me estoy refiriendo? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. Any idea? It's a place. Come. It's a place where you can have a cup of coffee. Anybody? Really, nobody. Es un lugar donde puedes comprar. Uh -huh. Obtener. It's a place where you can drink a cup of coffee. ¿Qué sería? Um, um, cafeteria. It can be a cafeteria. cafeteria. Right? It's a place where you can buy shoes. Shoe store. Okay. Shoe store. Shoe store. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a place where you can do exercise. Gymnasium. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a place where you can see a movie. Cinema. It's cinema. a cinema. All right. It's a place where you can buy vegetables or fruits or food. Shopping mall. The shopping mall or? Or department store. A department store, okay. But you buy vegetables, fruits, meat, yogurt, milk. Ice cream supermarket. store. Uh -huh, a supermarket. Or a market. A supermarket a mar or a market, right? <laughs> Marketplace, no. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. It's a place where you can buy a pet. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Don't you remember how to say that? A place where you can buy a pet? Pet store. A pet store, a pet shop. Pet shop. Uh huh. It's a place where you can see a doctor. Hospital. Hospital. A hospital. All right. It's a place Hospital. where you can get a bank account. At the bank. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> the bank. A bank. All right. Yes. It's a place where you can send a letter. Oh, email. Okay, post office. And the post, post office. office. <laughs> right, nobody uses the post office anymore. Right, it's a place where you can see a soccer match. The soccer match. Stadium. The stadium. Stadium. Yes, the stadium, right, and so on and place. so forth. Yes. Tengo una. It's a yes. place where you wash wash your clothes. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a place where you can wash your clothes, your clothes, right? It's a place where you can laundromat. Laundry. I didn't spell land. Laundry. Laundromat, right. Mm -hmm. Any other? No more? All right. Don't worry. So we have these places, as I was sharing the PowerPoint before, with these pictures, right? So you're going to be saying different actions or different activities about each of the places. For example, the first one, what do you think is the first one? Museum. 
it's a museum yeah. or an art gallery, right? So you say it's a place yeah. where you can learn about history. It's a place where you can see an art gallery. It's a place where you can learn about the artist and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna send you this photo for you to practice with your partner. At least, al menos dos oraciones de cada uno de los lugares tienen que decir. Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. Have a question. Tell me. Las oraciones que vamos a hacer es agregándole el it is que usted había puesto o solamente las oraciones de lo que estamos observando. Sí, nada más así. It's a place where you can es como sí. una pregunta. Ajá. No, es como una descripción. Ustedes <coughs> es un lugar donde tú puedes hacer tal cosa. Yes. Por ejemplo, yes, identifican yes. la primer, la primera imagen. Dicen es un museo. Ajá, es un lugar donde puedes ir a ver una, una exposición de arte. Ajá, es un, un lugar donde puedes aprender sobre historia. Es un lugar donde puedes conocer un artista, qué sé yo. Entonces así. Yeah. Okay, thanks. All right. Here we go. Hola. Ajá. Esa, vamos a hacer dos oraciones de, de cada de lo que observamos. Poniéndole, agregándole el itis. Mm, pues yo entendí que no. Solo lo que observamos, las oraciones que observamos. Ok. ¿Cómo podemos describir la primera? Porque hay pinturas, hay como que dos personas están observando las pinturas en un museo. Es como, es como un museo. Ajá, es un museo. Con, vamos a poner, quiero ver. O, un, o una galería. Una galería, ajá, una galería. Hola. Son dos, se llaman dos otras. Ah, yo hice una. Ya hice una. Ajá. Hay una que está fácil, la del cinema. Ah, es, uh, sí, de cinema hay varias cosas. Ah, también del pan. Uh -huh.
eight eight upload. Um, no, se creo que se me pide el que la imagen. Ah. Este, lo voy a dejar un momento que voy a recoger a mi esposa eh, disculpen de acuerdo está lloviendo que está lloviendo sí un tanto teacher yes ¿Puede mostrarnos nuevamente el ejemplo de, de, la, de la pregunta? Okay, es a place where you can... Where you can work. y pueden hacer cualquier otra cosa. Ajá. Ahora Por ya la, se lo escribo en el chat. Ya, no, ya lo vi. All right. Ya lo vi en el chat, pero la pregunta sería, ¿Es a place where you can... Ahí va a depender ah, de lo que quiera decir, donde puedes este jugar, caso, ver, comprar, obtener. Pero está correcto decir, it's a place. Yes, es un lugar donde, it's a place it's a where, where you can uh, buy, choose, buy, fruits, uh, choose, or buy, uh, mm -hmm. bread. Exactly. Etc. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Ok. Right. Oh, ok, partner, yo pregunto un bar y ustedes me contestan el lugar como se llama. Por ejemplo, it's a play, it's a play where you, you can see a gallery art. Vamos a ver, lindos cuadros. No, it's a picture. 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 France, de Francia. Sí. Yes. Teacher. Teacher. Está por ahí, teacher. Entonces quedaría como It Beauty Picture in, in Music Museo de, de Italia o de Francia. I'm sorry, I had some problem with the microphone. Tell me, what was. Dice, nosotros queremos poner lindas pinturas en lindos cuadros en el Museo de Francia. Uh -huh. Y para Beautiful decir Francia, picture. tenemos que. Ajá. Pictures eh, sería, ¿verdad, teacher? Beautiful pictures are pretty. Ajá, como para decir lindos cuadros. Yes, beautiful pictures. Ajá, beautiful picture in museo. In museo. In the museum of France. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Sí. Correct. Es correcto, sí, teacher, sí. Yes. Sí. Uh -huh. Gracias, teacher. All right. Entonces sería pictures. Picture, ajá, sería picture. It's beautiful picture in museum de France. De France, ajá. Ya notó, sí. Sí. En Francia, ¿verdad? Ajá. Lindos, lindos cuadros en el Museo de Francia. De Francia. Francia. Sí. Si hay museo, no hay, si no sé, pero. <risa> <risa> hay que inventar. Sí, sí. Va. Ya elaboró. Ahora. Ajá, esa es la primera. Hagamos la dos. ¿Cómo podemos poner? Podemos poner que en, en, 
aquí no hay museo, ¿verdad? Ese, ese es como tipo panadería. Porque son dos por, son dos por, por figura, dos oraciones. Ah. ¿Qué te ponemos? Venta de cuadros, como fue también, venta de... Toy store. You can... Ahí dice peluche. Quiero peluche, peluche, peluche. peluche. Mm -hmm. Con la denuncia, por pasear, a observar algo. Ajá. Ya regreso. Ok. Otro, it's a place where you can see a movie. In cinema. In at cinema. It's cinema. Yes. Ahora me preguntan ustedes. You can, we can buy medic, medicines. Uh -huh. Sería de right, right from the right, 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 la otra right, 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 Thank uh -huh. 
Al oeste o al norte. Ahí ve usted. O le ponemos queda a la par de, 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 de la escuela para que pongamos lo que hemos estado también viendo de, de gris o no sé. Ajá, de, los, de las ubicaciones. Ajá. Está al lado de la escuela. It is a place where you can feel a complex. The missing. Police is a police station. Is a place where you can buy bread. It's a bakery. You finish? Yeah, guys. Almost. <laughs> All right. What is the first one? Mm -hmm. It the gallery art you it's can. It's an art learn. gallery. It's a place where you can see an art gallery. Art gallery. All right. In an art learn gallery. About history. It's a place where you can learn about history. It's a place where you can see an art gallery. It's a museum, right? Number two or the second photo. What is it? It's a bakery. It's a bakery. bakery. What can you do there? It's a place where you can buy bread. It's a place where you can get a cake. It's a place where you can have a cup of coffee and a piece of bread as well, right? You can buy desserts. desserts. You can buy desserts. That's desserts. right. Excellent. Next one. What is it? It's uh, in the okay. toy store. Is that? <clears throat> toy, toy store. store. Toy store. <laughs> Hold on. A toy store. Uh huh. And what happened in this place? In the toy store, you can let your imagination fly. <laughs> okay, you can let your imagination fly. You can be a child again. Yes. <laughs> what else? It's a place where you have to control your children too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, because they want everything. It's a place obviously where you can get toys, robots. I love toys. <laughs> robots, teddy bears, dolls, all of that, right? Next one, um, it's a what? Pharmacy. It's a pharmacy. Or a drugstore, right? Uh -huh. And what happened? In the pharmacy, they supply all our medis medicine. Medicines? You can get all any any medicine supply. Exactly. What else? What else? Mm -hmm. Also, now in the pharmacies, you can get drinks or snacks, right? Or you can get a, yeah, you can get an injection, a shot. You can it's buy, a place where, huh? it's a place where you can uh, buy big vaporu. <laughs> it's a place where you can get, uh, 
an old man. That's why you call the big fat boy. An oil man. La estación la merita. It is a station police. The police station. It is a police, police station. station. Police station. All right. And what happened in the police station? The bad guys are locked up in the police <laughs> station. <laughs> yes. The criminals are arrested or are shut down in the police station. All right. You can call for emergencies as well. When you have a cat that enters your house and you don't know that it's a cat, you can call the police station. <laughs> oh, that's a funny story. All right, next one. What is it? Supermarket. What is a supermarket? Supermarket. Mm -hmm. what, else, what else can you do at a supermarket? What can you do there? You can buy food. You can get supplies for the house. Many things. Cleaning. Products. Supply. Supplier. For cooking. Right? A lot of groceries as well. Okay? Let's Go ahead with the next one. Uh huh. What was this one? The it first is, one. It is a, a cinema. cinema. It's a cinema. Uh huh. It is a cinema. And what can you do there? Uh -huh. Minions. <laughs> you can watch the minions. <laughs> Uh -huh. You can watch a movie, you can watch a documentary, you can watch an animated film. All right, next one. Next up. Hmm? It's park. a park. It's a park. It's a park. What can you do in a beautiful park like this? Yes. You can do it's yoga. This, <laughs> it's station train. It's, it's, it's yes. station. That a train station is the next one. Yes, train that's station. true. But in a park, what can you do in a park? Uh -huh. It's it, a train station of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> you can do exercise, you can go running, you can relax, you can do yoga. It's a train station, the next one. All right. Uh -huh. You can wait for the train, you can receive passengers. Right. What else? You can wait for somebody. All right, next one. What is it? It's a library. Library. A library. Library. Or a bookstore. Let's say it's a library. Okay, what is a library? It's a place where? Mm -hmm. History. The you lot can, of yes, get. History books, stories, science fiction, novels, crime novels. All Manu. right. Next one. What is it? It's a restaurant. 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 It's a restaurant. It's Mexican. <laughs> it's a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> no. No, no it's it Mexican. sounds like a very it's fancy Italian restaurant. food. Yes, it looks like very fancy restaurants. I don't know why I have the impression that Mexican restaurants are really good. The food is really good, but it's not really fancy. It's more like Latin restaurants. <laughs> right, very it's, colorful. It's Italian food. Maybe it's Italian food restaurant. And the last Hospital. one. 
It's hospital. a hospital. Bless you. <laughs> so, what happened in the hospital? Nurse, doctor. You can see nurses, doctors. People go for an emergency. People go for a surgery. People go. Enfermos. ¿Cómo se dice enfermos? Sick. Sick. Sick people or patients. Paciente, right? Yes, they get a lot of patients. They receive ambulances with emergencies, with accidents, right? Uh -huh. Nice. Done. Before doing this, antes de pasar a ese siguiente exercise, vean, escriban en el chat cualquiera de las oraciones que ustedes escribieron acerca de cualquiera de los lugares. ¿Ok? Al menos una. Tenemos 13. Al menos tres oraciones deben haber en el chat, una cada una. El que no le escriba le vamos a poner penitencia. Porque significa que está lavando la ropa, haciendo cualquier... <ríe> Doing the laundry. <ríe> Ajá. Vaya, en el supermarket we can get supplies for the ba basic supply for the house. Hey, Brenda. I see you. <ríe> Ajá. Ok, the basic needs for our home. That's right. The bad guys are locked up in the police station. It's a beautiful picture in the museum in France. The supermarket, we can buy fruits. Uh-huh. And vegetables. It's a place where you can see a portero. <laughs> it's a place where you can buy fruits and vegetables. It's a bakery. The bakery, we can buy desserts. Bakery. Bakery, the spelling is like this, yes. Ah, <laughs> es con E. Like bake, yes. como hornear. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Museum is a place where you can appreciate old objects or antiques, antigüedades, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Bye. ¿Quién no ha escrito? ¿Quién le va a caer la penitencia? We have pen up. No. <laughs> Uh -huh. Everybody has to write on the chat, remember. Let's see how many. One, two. Okay, let's say the names. Can you tell me? Okay, Juan Cristobal, Cesar, Briseida, Ernesto, Mario, Odali, Cesar. Uh -huh. Andrea. Ernesto Batres, Esmeralda, the museum is interesting, Briseida, the bread from the bakery is very delicious, Douglas. Ajá, casi todo. Bueno, algunos que van manejando como Yvonne, como Yvonne creo que aún no han escrito. Right, Yvonne? You're still driving. What a terrible drive tonight. When it rains, everything gets complicated. I know. It's so terrible. Se mojó, Brenda. Did you get wet? Un poco. Oh, my goodness. So. All right, it's a place where you can watch soccer players. All right, the stadium. And the police station is a place where you can make complaints. Nice. Perfect. Bueno, esperemos que ya todos hayan escrito. Bye. One more thing. Vamos a hacer un pequeñito game para practicar esto de las prepositions. So one second. Bye. Prepositions of place. Can you see it? Yes. Where is Max? 
in the in table. The table? On the in under between on behind or above under under it's under the table <laughs> all right where is the cat on the table 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 That's right the fat cat where's the dog behind <laughs> it's behind it's behind, it's behind the tree <laughs> That's a funny dog. Where's the ball? Next to next to the box. Next to the box. Right. Ah, where is the cat? Between. Between. Between, Between the dogs. Where's the cat? <laughs> in, in, the in, it's in the box. In the box. Another fat cat. Where's the dog? In front of. In front of. In front of. In front of. He's like. <laughs> All right. Where is, where is the ball? It is the ball, but here says the girl. So let's suppose it's the ball. Next to call it the girl. Near. 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 Near the box. Where's the boy? Behind. Behind. Behind the chair. Behind. Behind the chair. Where's the boy? Mm -hmm. Where is the TV? In front of. In front of. In front of. Mm -hmm. What if we choose opposite? Opposite. Let's say opposite will be the same. Where is the TV? That was the last one. Yeah, where's the elephant? Next to. Next to. Next to the chair. Now, where's the mouse? Under. <laughs> Under the box. Under. Under. Yes, that's right. Woo! Nice, 12 out of 12. Great. Good score. So let me just share something else. Because we have another activity for you. See, yes, right here. Right, right, right here. Oh, let's confirm the attendance. Solo Brenda se nos incorporó. Hoy alguien más. Alessandra, tú. Brenda, Alessandra, en. That's it. Brenda. Katia Alessandra, say good evening. Esmeralda, tú, right? Hi. Hi, Esmeralda, how are you? How are you? Fine. All right. And that's it, I think. All right, great. All right. Good, good, good. Okay, los que tienen su manual igual lo pueden ver desde su manual impreso, físico. Okay. Oh, you know. It's a page um in page forty five. Forty five. Okay. Page forty five. Address and places. I will be able to tell someone directions and where my workplace and someone else are located. Next. Try to keep your microphones off so that I can explain and then you can turn it on. All right, so 
Ask a partner where he or she works and what the address is and share. Tienen que preguntarle a su compañero dónde él o ella trabaja y cuál es la dirección. ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a hacer algo similar como este employee information. Obviously, this is only an example. Name, Mauricio Quintanilla. Office or main office phone. Es como el, el, el teléfono de la oficina, el teléfono principal, no el celular. So, office or main phone, 72039164. Workplace, o sea, el nombre de la empresa, Arrow Technology Company. Address on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Number A53, Santa Cecilia, San Salvador. Job position, ¿cuál es su posición de trabajo? Con su cargo sería software designer, department, production, and ID. En caso de que tengan un número de, ¿qué sé cuál es? El número de ID de su batch de su identificación en el trabajo si sí, tienen ¿verdad? algunos no entonces cuando ustedes ya hayan completado esto con su information obviously le van a preguntar a su partner what's your name y su partner le tiene que decir la oración completa my name is y el nombre completo what's your office phone number Igual, los phone numbers acostumbran decir uno por uno. Yes, no, no decir 72,003, no, sino 72039164. Workplace. Ok, ¿cómo harían la pregunta de workplace? What's your workplace? Hmm, podría ser, pero ten un poco literal. Where do you work? I work at a road technology company. What is the address of your workplace? Podría ser. Oh, what's your workplace address? It's on Roosevelt Street and First Avenue, I don't know, whatever you work. What do you do? Or what's your job position? To be, I am a software designer. Department. Oh, what department do you work for? I work for the production department. En caso de tener ID number, podría preguntar, what is your ID number? ¿Está claro esto? Activity? Yes or yes? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. perfect. Ya lo completaron, ya lo tienen con su information. Solo de irlo sustituyendo, ¿verdad? En caso de que usted no necesite reescribirlo. Let me see, vamos a trabajar con alguien más. Creo que algunos están en pairs, creo que solo hay dos grupos de tres. Okay. Here you go.
made from coffee. Is that two five? Two five. And um, three zero. Three zero. Three three. Three. Five four. Five four. Um, repeat me, please. Mm, and Rosalie is a plan. Repeat me the, the, the number of the number of it, please. Ya lo dije. Sí, pero me falta un número. Es eh, five four. Cuatro es el último número. Uno, y si me lo repite, me, me, me equivoco, vuelvo y me lo repetí. Es 25, 30, 33. No, 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 así no se vale, así no se vale. <risa> Vaya, ahí va. Two, five. Two, five. Three, zero. Three, zero. Three, three. Three, three. Five, four. Five, four. Okay, perfect. <risa> what, is, uh, what's your, what is the, the name of your... Hola. Hola, hola. ¿Te oye? ¿Escuchas? Esperando, esperando, esperando. Pero... Hola, hola. Hola. Ahora hola, sí. hola, hola, hola. Ahora sí. Ok, no sé si ya tienen su boletita. Ya. Don Ramón. Eh, ahorita estoy haciendo esto. Andrea, ya. Andrea. Sí, me Hola. No, no, todavía no es que estaba haciendo algo. ¿Qué es lo que hay que hacer? Hay que, eh, hay que llenar lo que está. Tenés el, si tenés el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El, el libro. WhatsApp. El número 40, la página 45. Ah, en el WhatsApp está también la imagen. Ah, yeah, yeah. Vaya, ahorita lo voy a... Employee Information. Ok, ahorita lo voy a, lo voy a llenar yo. Sí, no te oigo. Esmeralda Santos. Esmeralda Santos. What's your office main form? Um, two, four, five, zero, two, seven, five, three, two. ¿Qué dice? ¿Qué 
Pregunto. Pregúnteme. What is your name? My name is Mario Ernesto López. What is your office, my phone? Perdón. ¿Cuál es el número de teléfono? Sería así, what is your office, my phone? Ah, uh ajá. -huh. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Eh... El teléfono principal mm -hmm. es two three one four four two o oh, o oh. What is your workplace? My workplace is City Hall Puerto de Libertad. What is your uh, uh, address. Address. Uh, my address work is Gerardo Barres Street, number 21-7. Okay. What is your job position? My job position is File assistant. What is your de department? Uh, my department is ref. Uh, what is your ID? Uh, I not ID. Okay. I not have ID. Okay. Uh, ¿Usted tiene las suyas? Sí. Uh, le pregunto. De acuerdo. What is your name? My name is Odalis Rivera. What is your... My phone. My phone. Office, office, my phone. My office phone is two three 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 nine eight three seven. What is your workplace? My workplace is a cast de rele. Necesito un préstamo. Ok, <laughs> con gusto. What is, your, <laughs> what is your, your address? My address is Guadalupe Neighborhood, San Sebastián. Guadalupe, ¿de qué? Perdón. Neighborhood. Creo que así se dice barrio, ¿verdad, Fisher? Yes. Vecindario. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, San Sebastián, San Vicente. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <de las> <laughs> what is coach? your exactly? Quiero jugo de caña. For this rain. <laughs> What is the, your job position? My job position is a... mm -hmm. Santa Elena, mm -hmm. Antigua Cuscatlán. Your position? Supply chain manager. Manager. Department. Um. 
Carmen. Estoy entre tres departamentos. <ríe> Póngale, pongámosle Paina. What, what department do you work in? Uh, my department department in my work is restaurants. Okay. Do you have ID number? Uh, yes, my number ID is two zero one zero one. Okay. Acordate que ahí sería six and a half. Ajá. Okay. Tengo, que poner, tengo que poner mi DUI. <risa> no necesariamente. Ah, yo por eso solo puse un sí, sí. Tú, tú. Sí, pues el número de carnet. Pero... Okay. Ajá, el número de carnet. Ahora yo le pregunto a don Cristóbal. <coughs> ok. Uh, what's your name? My name is Juan Cristóbal Alemán Ramón. What's your number? My number phone is 223990000. What do you work? Desarrollos consolidados. My, I work desarrollos consolidados. What do you work address? My work address is Boulevard Orden de Malta, número 420, Colonia Santa Elena. What do your position? Mm, my job position is software designer or developer. What do you work department? department? My department is IT. <coughs> Salud. <laughs> What do you work ID number? I don't have ID. Ok, hoy voy entonces con Andrea. Okay. Hello, Andrea. Hello. Usted me va a preguntar. Yes. yes. Yes, I am ready. What is your name? My name is Andrea Simón Callejas Martínez. Hey. What is your phone number? My phone number is 7770-7770. One, four, six, seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. What your workplace? I work in El Rosal Beauty Supply. Okay. Se tira cerca de, de esas cosas. Pero no sé cómo va a terminar ahí. Teacher. Hello. Hi. ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Verdad que eh, podemos dejar terminado hoy todo? Eh? Yes, please. <laughs>
y, y mañana la evaluación dijo que íbamos a hacerlo. Claro, pero lo antes. Sí, lo que terminaron no hay problema. No, mañana estaría la encuesta, creo. Exacto. Mañana estaría la encuesta. Si sí, tenemos clase normal. Después y... de clase. No, durante la clase hay un momento asignado. Hay una calendarización para eso. Y de hecho hay otra persona de técnico de soporte también ingresa para ver que todo esté llenado correctamente. Ok. Y los que lo hicieron ya, porque vi que varios estaban mandando fotos. Ya lo van a poner a hacerlo otra vez. <risa> Hay que lo repita. Es que vi que mandaron fotos de que lo habían hecho. Sí, ya vi que le contestaron también, que se lo tiene que llenar con la clase. Es que eso dijeron, pero al principio mandaron eso y no dijeron nada. Yo estoy a punto de una ley, no, mejor no voy a esperar. Dije. No. Como que ellos sí. también en la colada. Sí, de hecho sí, se tiene que hacer justo la última ah. clase. Ok. Nosotros hubiésemos terminado hoy, justamente, pero porque pues pusimos una clase, por eso terminamos hasta mañana. No, porque hoy lo estaríamos haciendo. La del 30. Uh -huh. La del 30, ¿verdad? Exacto. Es que el 30, el 30 es algo mortífero para la mayoría. Ay, no, es terrible. <risa> no, si hubiese habido clase, aquí se andaba todo. Este todo día ni. Creo que es cierto, nadie era conectado este día. Ay, y de hecho hoy varios tuvieron dificultades por la sí. rain. Bueno, de hecho sigue lloviendo. Yo todavía estoy ya me acabo de conectar otra vez el INTE. Really? Sí, solo César un rato. Ay, no. <risa> Pero ya terminaron, ¿verdad? Porque solo ¿Eh? ustedes dos estaban. Sí, ya. Sí. Estaba Alessandra, pero sí. se salió. Alessandra. Sandra o Alexandra. También. Ya la vi que está en otro, en otro grupo. Ah, ok. Abandon aquí. Ok, we're going to return to the main Después station. de aquí se fue para otro. <risa> to group number five. Dijo, de aquí no soy, dijo, y se fue. <risa> Bye. <risa> See you. <risa> all right, let's return to the main station, all right? Ok. Ay, se me volvió a ir, Douglas. Sí, es que se le está yendo, está como bien intermitente. Su sí, ahí está muy mala su señor. Poor, poor child. Finish. Finish. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Ramon Spoto, you were really Hello. fast tonight. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Flash. Flash. Do you use a motor's bike or, or a car? Excuse me? Do you use a motorbike, a motorcycle, or a car to go pick up your yes. wife? Oh, in a car because oh, a it's car. raining. Because it's raining. raining, exactly. And it's not far yeah. away where she works. Yeah, it's near. It's nearby. All right. Yeah, because it's raining a lot. Yes. All right. Let's just start with people who haven't participated. No les vamos a hacer cuayas. Simplemente ustedes nos van a contar todo el perfil con toda la información que tienen que contar. My full name is, I work at, the phone number from the office is, bla, 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 bla. Como si así naturalmente nos están contando su perfil. Yes? Understood? Yes. Perfecto. Vamos a iniciar con Mr. Ramón. Ok. Go ahead. Ok. Uh, my name is Ramon Antonio Scotto Barca. Uh, my phone number is uh, 7559-4344. I work in the in City Hall, San Esteban, Catarina. Okay. 
my job position is a counter. A counter. And I work in a in a um, finance unit. You know the finance department, right? For you to sell yeah. a unit. Yeah. My address is uh, First Avenue in Street Domingo Santos, San Esteban Catarina, San Vicente. And I don't have an ID, ID number. number. Nice, excellent. Right. Mr. Ramon Esporto, you just go to the First Avenue and Domingo Santos Street. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next, let's listen to Ernesto Batres. Loteria. Loteria. <laughs> hello. He is the lucky one. Go. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. Hi. My name is Ernesto Batres. My office, my phone is 2239. Uh, nine zero zero zero. Um, I work for Santa Elena Group, uh, but the company of the holding is Desarrollos Consolidados. Mm -hmm. The address is Boulevard Orden de Malta, number four two four two zero. Santa Elena. My job position is supply chain. I am in three departments, uh, buy, uh, inventory, and importation. Yes. I don't have ID number. Yeah. <laughs> Pida su ID number. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nice. Good job. Let's continue with Mini 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 Mo, Catch a Chicken by the Toe, Mario Ernesto. Yes. Uh, my name is Mario Ernesto Lopez. My office name phone is Two three one four four two zero oh, oh. zero. My workplace is uh, City Hall, Puerto Alerta. My address is Gerardo uh, Barrios Street, number twenty twenty one seven. My job position is file assistant. Uh, my depart department is, is rep. I, I don't use ID number. Ah, thank you. No ID numbers in your companies. That's not nice. Never. <laughs> so no tienen el batch para entrar. <laughs> eh, sí, pero no. No es, number. Uh, Vice ID. Um, interesting. I, I remember. We have uh, ID number, but uh, only Mr. Cristobal lo conoce. Ah, only the legal department. Yes. The secret. A top secret. The top yes. secret. Interesting. All right. Let's see, next one. Solo los chicos hemos escuchado. Faltan las chicas, ¿verdad? Vamos a escuchar a Odalis. Hello. Hi. My name is Odalis Rivera. Mm -hmm. My office, my phone is 2333983. My workplace is a casa de real. My address is Guadalupe Neighbor, Neighborhood, San Sebastián, San Vicente. 
I hope position is a content. My department is a content. And I now have ID. Another doesn't have ID. Okay, good job. Interesting. Aha. ¿Quiénes se nos habían desconectado por el internet? Ya se volvieron a unir. Bye. Escuchemos a... Um, let's listen to... Bree, say them. Hi, teacher. Hi. Uh, my employee's information. Yes. Name. Briseida Lisette Vasquez Gomez. My iPhone seven seven two four five four two two. Mm -hmm. Workplace El Rosario Supply S A S B. Address seventeen seven Avenue South Colony Escalón San Salvador. Yo position. Super Hola, buenas noches. Mm -hmm. Muy amable, gracias. De nada, gusto. Gracias. Departamento Salve. ID CC2 Nice. Excellent. Good job. All right. Algunos que se nos van a salvar por el tiempo porque tenemos que hacer otras actividades. Vamos a dejar hasta acá. Veamos. Let me see. There we have. Okay. Solo para que se relaje uno a poner otro little game. <laughs> Let's see. Vamos a las prepositions of time for holidays and festivities. Una vez que conoce estos folios. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. December 31st. On December the 31st. What is the holiday? New York. New, New York Eve. Excellent. On June 22nd. Me acuerdo que dijo Oscar, perdón César, que era el día del hombre. ¿verdad? Ah, no, eso fue muy bien. Hombre. Ah, bueno, pues me equivoqué. Independence Day, Independence Day. Day. That was funny. Nathan, Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Monday Day. July Father 26. Day. Father Day. 26. Ajá, el 17. Ah, no, no, hombre. El 16 es sábado. 17. Santa Ana Festividad. Santa Ana Ah, en la fiesta ah, Julia. October 1st. Children's Day. Children's Day. Children's Day. Ah, por eso celebran el October 1st de la fiesta. Day of the Cross. 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 August 3rd. August festive. festive. August festivities. June 17th. Father's Day. Father's Day. Father's Day. Last Father's week of Day. November. The, 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 the Samuel Carnival. Samuel Carnival. November 2nd. Our soul day. Our soul day. Right. And December 24th. Christmas. 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 Woo, we got it. <laughs> ¿Cómo saben si están correctos no? <laughs> oh. Al darle doble clic sobre el participante. <laughs> Great. Good job. Yes, nice. Okay, right. Veamos, teníamos esta activity que acabamos de hacer del job profile. Confusion, 
Marcação. Bien, bueno. Llegado en este video example. Y acá hay unas sentences. Ustedes, dependiendo de la información que ven acá, de la address y de qué más. Del workplace. Arrows Technology position, Company. Department. Ajá. Entonces. Van a decidir cuál de las four sentences es la correct one. Obviamente tienen que ver el map de la página 39. Si tienen por ahí su manual, cuál de yes. estas four sentences es la correcta. Ya leyeron el employee's information, ¿verdad? Está acá. The workplace is Arrows Technology Company. The address is on Roosevelt Street on First Avenue. Number A53. So, ¿cuál de estas four sentences sería la correcta? It is located in front of the mall on First Avenue. It is located across First Avenue behind the restaurant. It is located on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the boat world. It is located along Roosevelt Street next to the city hall on the park. Any clue? Any idea? Y puede ser ninguna. <laughs> Tiene que ser una. It has to be one. You need to choose one. Ve, voy a dejar de compartir. Y les voy a compartir el map. Por aquellos que se perdieron, ¿cuál map? ¿De cuál map estamos hablando? De este map. ¿Cuál era el nombre de, de la company? Se llama Arrow Technology Company. Uh -huh. It's here. It's here. Entonces... Dice que está sobre la Roosevelt y la Roosevelt. primera avenida. Uh -huh. One, two, three, or four. Number three. Number three. Behind no. the restaurant. Are you sure? ¿Dónde está el mapa? La pregunta. <risa> Las oraciones. Las oraciones. The sentences está acá. Uh -huh. Ah, pues número 3. Sí, está no, en no. medio del restaurante y la box. Y del box. Eh, sí, entre el bookboard y el restaurante. It is on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant between. and the bookboard. Exactly, ahí está. Esa es. That's right. Ahí está. It's on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the bookboard. It's a rock company. Okay. Perfect. Y en la four teacher. En la Rosenberg, al lado del banco. The number four. Four. Yeah, no. Rosenberg. Rosenberg, next to the city hall and the park. Tendría que estar al lado de la alcaldía y del parque. Sí, Pero es... está ahí. Uh -huh. Pero estamos hablando que es de Arrow Company. No podía ser entonces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
¿Ya? Tendría que ser aquí la iglesia. <risa> o de Booker, probablemente. Si o enfrente del parque debería de ser. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. pero estamos hablando de Arrow Company. So it's on Roosevelt Street between the restaurant and the book world. Yes. All right. Ok. Vale. Voy a compartir nuevamente esta pantalla. Y vamos a ver este mapa. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con este mapa? Aquí tenemos muchos lugares. Many places. Hospital, police station, supermarket, bookstore, bus station, underground station, cafe, tavern, restaurant, shop, Green Street, King's Road, King's Road, Bond Street, Green Street, Cinema, Theater, y todos estos places que ustedes ya ven acá, post office, library, museum, factory. Con referencia a este mapa, van a elegir la preposición correcta, ¿ok? The hospital is opposite next to or between the police station. Creo que esto ya lo hemos visto, así que ustedes no pueden equivocar en esto. ¿Ok? No questions, no problems. La proyecto yo. Pruébela usted si quiere, porque yo no puedo. No ha abierto el WhatsApp. Espera. No, no. Se mira. Pero no que me tengo que salir para ver la imagen en el grupo. Siempre se sigue viendo, ¿verdad? Sí, siempre. Para la primera dice The hospital is opposite to the police station. Tengo que elegir cualquiera de esas tres, supongo. Pero bueno. El hospital. ¿Dónde está el hospital? El hospital. Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. Uh -huh. From Cinemas. Police Station. Hello. La primera sería así. De hospital. Is next to the police. En este caso sería next to porque está después de la policía, ¿verdad? Next to the hospital is next to the police station. Hola. Hola. Sí, sí, tenía el micrófono apagado. Ah, así sería, ¿verdad? Sí. 
the hospital the hospital is next to the police station uh -huh. The post office está donde está el post office. Aquí está la parte de la librada. La librada. Esta dice es de cinema. Este cinema. Bueno, entonces sería opposite. Lo que está allá. The restaurant, factory, museum. El café está enfrente. No, es, es la, la tres. La tres. Ah, la tres. Yo. Yo. Between. Sí, between. Between. Uh -huh. Between. De ahí, the bookshop is. The bookshop. No, no, no. The cat, the coffee. No te vayas vos también para la otra, César. ¿El qué? Hombre, el bookshop. Esa... Ah, de, no. de Coffee Epa. Ah, sí, es verdad. Coffee. Pero... Coffee is... Mm. Bitwin tiene que ver porque te aparecen dos. No, pero es oposible. No, pues, no. Del restaurante y de Underground. ¿Qué es Underground? Underground Station. Ah, no, perdón, perdón. The restaurant in the underground. Underground Station. Ah, no, hombre, be win. Win, be win. Está oposición. No, de café. No, el café está en medio del restaurante y el, la estación del tren. Ah, sí, está en medio. Uh -huh. Los rezos between. En between. Menos mal, yo no que se ha perdido. <risa> <risa> the bookshop is... The bookshop, bookshop, bookshop. Ajá. Pero están a la par. Y no hay otro café. Ah, no, no es. Entonces, ¿cuál le ponemos? Dice, permítame. El café, no, no, no. Léala toda. No, no, no. Es, es el, es el opposite. Porque dice que el, el café... Y el restaurante. Teacher. Teacher. Eso fue la teacher. Yeah, ahí está. Hello. Este opposite eh, se refiere um, como enfrente o. Sí. Justo enfrente, yes. ¿Cómo? Es enfrente, pero al otro lado de la calle. Ah. Uh -huh. okay. 
All right. Esa, esa la puse yo en el supermarket, de supermarket is on bond, bond strike. Esperen. Así sería entonces, bueno, entonces, la primera la screen, la segunda la opposite. La tercera between, la cuarta between, la quinta posit, la seis next to, la siete next to, la ocho posit. ¿Cuál es la Lo del. A mí mandaron como un link al correo que tenemos que llenar. Como una entrevista, ¿no? ¿Qué? Ah, pero esta mañana, en la clase. ¿Verdad que sí? sí porque no le he llenado. No, dijo la teacher que hay un, un, un tiempo para hacer eso ahí en la clase. En media clase, en la última clase. Oh, vaya. Ahí estaba la teacher. Ahí está. Teacher. Sí, ahí está, creo. Hello. Hello, teacher. Mira, tengo una duda en la 8. En la de. ¿Qué te voy a recordar? <ríe> la antepenúltima de Shop is. Uh -huh. Y de, de Museum. Number 8. Ah. Ok, the shop is opposite next to or between the museum. Vea que es opposite. Opposite the museum. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Y la de underground station. De café. Ah, no, esa está opposite. Vea. The restaurant and the underground station. Está between. Ajá. Sí, porque tiene dos lugares de referencia. The restaurant no. and the Ajá. underground station. Ajá. So it's between. Cuando aparece. Ajá, cuando aparece en dos, es porque está en medio. Ah, que está en medio. Ajá. Ajá. No, pero ese sí lo tenía bueno. Que había uno, pues, no me acuerdo cuál era. <laughs> La siete, no era. No, no me acuerdo. El cinema. Ay, que creo que. Ah, esa creo que es. Y el cinema. It's opposite next to or between the theater. What's next to? Next, next to. to. Ah, eso sí. Mm -hmm. No, es que todas estaban next to. Mm -hmm. No, esa era la que no me acordaba. Okay. Sí, es que la. Ok. No problem. You finished. Ya estuvo, teacher. Ya. All right. Good. Ya pasé la lista. Ya pasé la lista. I wanna go. Oh, sleep. I got you. I need to go to sleep. All right. Yes, yes. Give me one second. All right. Like for effectos de de edición de la siguiente imagen tengan así como muy disponible, muy available esta imagen, la imagen del del map, okay? Remember, yes. the hospital, the police station, supermarket, bookshop, bus station, underground station, cafe, Italian restaurant, shop, museum, factory, 
library, post office, cinema theater, and all of that, right? So, vamos a editarlo así. Remember. Vamos. Y decimos que the hospital is... Next to, next next to, to the police next station. To the police station. The police station. All right. The post office is opposite next to or between the cinema. Opposite. Opposite. Opposite, opposite the cinema. Opposite. You are opposite next to or between the library and the museum. Next to the library and the museum. Between. 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 between the library and the museum. The cafe is opposite between the restaurant and the underground. Between. Between. between the restaurant and the underground station. The bookshop is opposite next to or between the bus station. Opposite. Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. Next to. <laughs> opposite. Opposite, next to or between the bus station. Next to. Next to. Next to the bus station. All right. The factory is. Next to. Next to the museum. Yes, next to. The cinema is. Next to. Next to the theater. The shop is opposite. opposite. Opposite the museum. The museum. The police station is opposite. Opposite the supermarket. Opposite the supermarket. The bus station is it's opposite the opposite restaurant. the restaurant. The Italian restaurant. Yes. All right. It's true, it's true, it's true. Bueno. Dame un segundito, déjame corroborar algo de este book. One second, please. Ok, para mayor referencia, en su manual están acá las propositions of place, para los que no las han encontrado aún. It's on page 46. It's right here. Here you have along, in front of, behind, next to, between, across, past, under. And you have the explanation right here. Prepositions of place. Where is the park located? It's located among many places. Among is como entre tantos lugares, right? Cuando hay más de dos opciones, ya no usamos between, sino que usamos among. Where is the port palace located? It's located on Barry Street in front of the park. En caso de que no haya una calle así como muy grande, enfrente podríamos este, usar in front of. Where is the mall located? It's located near the restaurant. Where is the church? It's located past the school. Near, ya sabemos que es cerca, y pases al pasar la escuela. Aquí tienen algunos exercises. Esto lo vamos a terminar de hacer tomorrow. Esto es lo que ya habíamos hecho, que ustedes compartieron su employee information. Los que no la compartieron hoy, pues van a tener la oportunidad de compartirla tomorrow. And don't forget, no olviden unirse a la clase de mañana porque es súper importante que llenen completen, que envíen resultados de su encuesta. Ok, veamos. ¿Hay alguna duda, una pregunta o algo que se me haya escapado? Lo de la encuesta va a haber un tiempo. Sí, lo vamos para a hacer. Mañana, entonces. Sí, lo vamos a hacer durante la clase. Yes. 
no estoy segura aún, yo no he enviado todavía la calendarización de las, de las clases que terminan mañana, pero tiene que ser entre las 8 y las 10 de la noche. Eso sí, puede ser que hace a las, a las 8 y 20, a las 8 y media, a las 9 y 5, qué sé yo. Pero sí tiene que estar, es como un promedio de 15 a 20 minutos para completarla entre todos, por si hay alguna duda, en el ah, dato. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Algo okay. más? ¿Hay alguien que aún no haya participado en la sesión de one on one? Porque ya algunos ya hicieron reprise. No me gustaría que nadie se quedara. Recuerden, hoy es la penúltima. ¿No? ¿No? Andrea, ¿sigue acá? No sé, no yes, sí, All right. Andrea, Brenda, Briseida, César. Douglas, Ernesto, Esmeralda, Stella, Ivonne, bueno Ivonne al final creo que se terminó desconectando, pobre Ivonne, no había logrado participar para nada. Ok, Juan Cristóbal, Katia Alessandra, Mario Ernesto, Mayra, Odalis, en Ramón, Jennifer, no sé qué ya pasa. Ok. La última vez, ¿quién participó? César, Ray. Right. En teoría sería Douglas, Ernesto, Esmeralda. ¿Quién está disponible de los tres? No, pues no, no, va más de que no. <ríe> Uy, hey, decídanse. Ok, Ernesto. Vaya, ya ven que solidario, Ernesto. Go, go to sleep. Le, le van a tener que comprar un capuchino. De ese okay. Ah, for tomorrow. tomorrow Hoy lo voy a invitar yo a un café en la oficina. Please. Vaya. Hay, hay, que, hay, hay que dar lo que él quiera. Starbucks, dijo. No, ahí en la oficina, ahí hay una cafetera. Okay. Good night, goodbye. Good night, see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay. <laughs> Con amenazas no sé en esta cosa. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> How are you, Mister? Todos se quieren ir a dormir ya. Right. Oh. True. Pero ni modo, gracias por tenernos paciencia porque sé que esto de enseñar es de paciencia. No te preocupes, ok. I'm used to. Estoy acostumbrada. I'm used to. Actually, I have taught practically half of my life. I started teaching when I was 20 and I've been teaching for about 20 years now. Ok. Uh, le voy a tratar de subir más volumen a esto para tratar de escucharla porque está viviendo un poquito. Ok, no problem. Ok. All right, Mr. Batres. Can you hear me? Sorry? Can you hear me now? Um, yes. Yes. I can hear, hear you. All right, perfect. All right. Do you have any question, anything that you want to talk, that you want to discuss about in this session? No, teacher. I... Everything is clear. It's clear. Okay. Did you finish the exercises from the platform? Yes, I All finished right. the exercise. The hospital is outside. The post office is next to the All cinema. Right. Nice. Yes, I. I... Uh, I do the every exercise. All right, perfect. Let me check. Ernesto, all right. Yes, I see. True, 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 true. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So let's have a conversation. Okay, if you want to start a conversation with the topics, any topic that we study in this course, you want to remember and tell me. But 
Trate de recordar todo lo que hemos visto durante el curso. Y cuénteme. Like if you are telling me. Como si usted me estuviera contando de, de cuáles son los temas que ha visto. O de cuáles recuerda, al menos. Okay. Tell me, what do you remember? I remember any topics, any topics for example, a preposition, a preposition of time, so mm -hmm. uh, the place, the place, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. uh, the, And do and does. Uh -huh, the uh, questions with do and does. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the sentence affirmative, mm -hmm. the interrogative, mm -hmm. negative, mm -hmm. uh, the, the daily routine, mm -hmm. the, the workplace. Okay, nice. And what is the topic that you consider the most difficult? The most difficult. Um, the most difficult. Um, the most difficult. For me, the most difficult will be. Uh, Creo que, creo que la mayoría ha estado dentro de, de lo básico, pero but, uh, the most difficult for me is, is again to hear um, and understand the, the English um, speaking. The okay. listening and the, and the listening is more difficult for me. Mm -hmm. the, the writing, um, reading mm -hmm. is more easy. Mm -hmm. uh, sobre todo, this level is uh, A, A1. Mm -hmm. is, is basic level. Mm -hmm. So the more difficult for me is the, the reading and speaking. All right. Listening and speaking. Listening, listening mm -hmm. and speaking. Yes. Right. In general. In general. Mm -hmm. Nice. In general. And the easiest. And then, is there any topic that was the easiest? Algún tema que usted dijo, ah, eso está easy. Well, easy, easy. Uh, el do. El dash, uh, the, the preposition, mm -hmm. uh, the, the question form, mm -hmm. and the affirmative, mm -hmm. uh, but, but driving. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah? But uh, for speaking, it's still the difficult. Speaking is very difficult. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. What can be two possible questions we do? Do you? Repeat me, please. Two possible questions. Que me, usted me preguntaría con, do you? Uh, do you have a sleep? Repeat. Uh, for example, bye. Yes, uh, it's okay. Just repeat the question. Okay. Do you have? Do you have, do you have a... Uh, do you have a sleep? Do you have a sleep? Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. La estructura está bien, solo que con el sueño, con el hambre, con el frío, no usamos el do you have. Las usamos... afecciones del cuerpo, les ocupa el, el, el... Are you? Are you? Are you sleepy? Are you, sleepy? Yes. Are you tired? Are you hungry? Con el do you have, es literalmente con una posesión. Por ejemplo, do you have a car? Do you have a computer? Yes. Do you have a pet? Uh -huh. Yes, you're right. Okay, nice. ¿Qué otra? Um, uh, for example, of... Uh, um, Así, literalmente empezando con the, do you. 
Okay, do you? Mm -hmm. Do you have a book? Yes, I do. I have a dog. <laughs> okay, okay, trate de no usar el have. Cualquier otro verbo. Pero siempre iniciando con do you. Uh, do you, do you, do you can, do you can speak English? Ajá, ahí tampoco usamos el do. Si va a usar el can de una vez, can you speak English? Pero el do y el can no pueden ser porque ambos son auxiliares. Entonces, do you speak English? Do you speak Italian? Do you speak Japanese? Yes? Okay. Mm -hmm. One more time, repeat the question. Do you want, do you want uh, see a movie? Oh, yes. I want to see the Minions. <laughs> Yes. Do you want to listen to music? Do you want to listen to music? Ahí, sí. Entonces, esas son como las cositas que uno tiene que recordar. De los auxiliares, que el, dos auxiliares no, no son posibles. De las posesiones, no. right, que tiene que ser literalmente cosas que alguien posee para usar el hard. Ok. Uh -huh. Perfect. Okay. ok. Nice. Thank you for volunteering. Okay. ¿Y su child hoy sí ya se había dormido? Fíjense que se ha dormido en la sala. Me apagó las luces y se durmió en la Pobrecito. sala. No quiere acostumbrarse a irse a la cama sin mí. Y eso me está causando líos porque él hace pataleta que, que ya es hora de dormir, pero quiere que, que se vaya a papá también a la cama. ¿En how old is he? Yeah. How old is he? Hello? How old is he? Five, six? Ah, uh, yes, uh, yeah, he is uh, three. 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 Ah, he's little. Yes. Mm, I know. It's a frío. Está haciendo frío, de hecho, because it's raining. Yes. Bueno, aquí ya paró la lluvia, pero sí está bien fresquito. Well, thank you so very much, Mr. Batres. I okay. hope you rest and relax and get energy recharge the battery for tomorrow good night, good night. <laughs> bye